But now I'm curious. I've, I've, I've switched the t TV off and now I want to see how it operates. How it, how it can, can make, put me into all those weird situations. So, it's about time. This is what it looks like. Look at this. This looks like a city, like a little model of a city. And all the houses which are here, and streets. This is maybe an elevator to go up, up there. And here are all the wires. These wires. They really take care, take care of all the electrons when they come through here. They, they, they take care of it. They are powerful enough. Howdy, Carl here, and welcome to the show.
out there. We have a special theme tonight. It's the Night of Poetry. We're celebrating poetry tonight, and one of the many ways we're doing that is by, we do have a hotline now, a Hippie Fiasco Hotline, and uh, if you want to read us a poem, leave a message on the hotline, 540-999-1712. It's so fun to have a hotline, and uh, this is going to be a fun use of it tonight. So read us a poem on the hotline. We'll weave it into the improv. I'm not guaranteeing that it'll be completely legible, but it will in- inform the music and inspire us in many different ways. So have fun out there. We have a hotline. We have a hotline. 540-999-17. Breaking news here at Hippie Fiasco Rides Again Headquarters. We now have a hotline. That's right, folks. 540-999-1712. That's 540-999-1712. Call anytime, day or night, and leave a message. I will use these messages to inform the show. You can ask a question, tell us a joke, start a conversation, make a noise. Hotline! Hotline, folks. 540-999-1712. Have fun with it. I know I will. You can you can rant if you want. Go off. Get it out. Turn it loose. Hotline! I always said that the moment that the news started saying, we want to know what you think, was the end of civilization. But now here I am. I want to know what you think. I really do. We have a hotline, 540-999-1712. Hey, if it's the end of civilization, we might as well get all this out. Up, up, and away. 540-999-1712. Read us a poem. If you really get into character, I got puppets all over the place. I'd be happy to put a puppet to uh, to your teleplay, to your radio drama. Call the hotline, 540-999-1712. You know, I know what I would do without you. And I don't want to do it anymore. Call the hotline, 540-999-1712. It's big news, folks. You should blink that. There you go. Yeah. That's that's some blinkable material right there. Hotline, 540. What is it? 999-1712. That's right. You got it. You got it. All right. Looking forward to hearing from you. Do it. Do it. But now I'm curious. I've, I've, I've switched the t- TV off. And now I want to see how it operates.
15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff. Probably really hit me when I got inside the craft and looked around and began to understand how the craft was operated and finally grasped the whole project as a whole as what we were doing the fact that we weren't building this thing we were trying to find out how it was made we were back engineering it when I first got to look inside the craft the, the all I can say it's an ominous feeling you walk in there and uh, it's, it feels as if you shouldn't be there. I know that sounds kind of corny, but it's a real ominous feeling. It's not an exciting feeling. Uh, it brings up a whole lot of questions in your mind. I only witnessed one test flight up close, officially. Uh, that I was in, just inside the hangar. The craft lifted off the ground, uh, virtually noiseless, other than a small corona discharge on the bottom of the craft, indicating the presence of high voltage. Uh, that dissipated at about 30 feet and it stood there completely silently and moved over to the left and to the right and sat back down. That was the entire uh, test. This was quite, quite a scientific feat to lift something completely silently under control and, uh, you know, perform a maneuver like that.
The hotline is open. If you want to read us a poem, leave a message. Leave a poetic message. 540-999-1712. Be a part of the show. Well, you said uh, if I wanted to read a poem, I'd read it to you here. And I found this one in the journal, and uh, I'll read it to you. Some people know their God. Some are hopeful. Everybody else does. Some people know they don't know. Some are still waiting for more evidence. Some people know there is no God. And some people try to make God matter. But some people know it's more about energy. Some people never think about God. They think it doesn't matter what they think they think. I know you want to know what I think. I say when they say I might make it 
I steal poems, I borrow shade If a chance floats by, I take it Fellow inmates of this round world These bodies, these thoughts in our head Save all the reasons you'll pray never more Tell me all about it when I'm dead By the light of a shining star By the dark of a dim lit bar for backdrops in the gifts or gifs room on discord hook us up with the visuals is that this is more than a poem. This is a beggar's knife. This is a tulip. This is a soldier marching through Madrid. This is you on your deathbed. This is Lee Poe laughing underground. This is not a goddamn poem. This is a horse asleep, a butterfly in your brain. This is the devil circus. You are not reading this on a page. The page is reading you. Feel it? It's like a cobra. It's a hungry eagle circling the room. This is not a poem. Poems are dull. They make you sleep. These words force you to a new madness. You have been blessed. You have been pushed into a blinding area of light. The elephant dreams with you now. The curve of space bends and laughs. You can die now. You can die now if people were meant to
sunsets Sure she's up there Up against the moonshine A perfect pirouetting Silhouette You should have seen them The first a thousand times
donations. There you go.
find myself. What are the chances that lightning strikes twice? One in nine million, to be Google precise. But it widely depends upon isolation and height. If you hold the key, don't fly the kite. If you're out on a limb, don't pick up the phone. Don't call anyone, just run to a home. Ducking don't work, just ask the ducks. It's often a matter of just dumb luck. But you can increase your chances, my friend. You can win if you don't pretend that you ain't afraid of tumultuous juice. Head for the shelter and cut yourself loose. Cause winning is losing when it comes to a strike. One and you're out, tagged by the light. Unless you are Sullivan who took seven to the head and none of them killed him, but he did instead. If the songbook ain't for you, then maybe for me, cause I already got one, but it's catch and release.
so much, everybody out there. The hotline number again. 540-999-1712. Leave us a poem. It's so much fun trying to work them in. are so fun please join our discord join us on discord have some fun in there throw some gifts at the screen hang out in uh, in the chat and uh I don't know, is there anybody in the disco i don't even know there might be people hanging out in the disco we'll throw you on the air too write a poem in the disco put the camera on you we'll just, we'll just cut to people writing poetry from time to time that sounds like fun to me <laughs> Getting warmed up. That's Lex Park. I'm Nathan Moore. We're the whole other. You're what you're watching. The Friday night get right. Tonight's theme is poetry. That's so much fun.
I cannot live with Thoughts and time of The wild swans at cool. What need you be? Thought I'd get up early today. The wild Lots swans and time of play. I W B. Tonight, I'm set to out and three years in the road and even die on the woodland paths of dry. Under the October twilight water, mirrors a still sky. Upon the brimming water, I'm not heed you being come to sense, but fumble in a greasy till and add the heap of. I cannot live with you. It would be life. And life is over there, behind the shelf. I can write the saddest lines. Habanero, first taste. I will note that there's no flow stopper in the top of the bottle like there is with the Peruvian Ghost. I'm expecting it to be a little bit milder. Oh yeah, it's a little liquidy. And it's going on a delicious carnita super burrito from La Bamba Taqueria. Talson. the peach habanero. Tell son, make it stop. Make it hot. Hot sauce. So we have here the peach habanero, first taste. I will note that there's no flow stopper in the top of the bottle like there is with the Peruvian ghost. All right, Nathan, I know we don't really know each other. Maybe I said, uh, I've heard of you. You've heard of me. All right, now that's out of the way, I get something else out of the way. And I cannot be more serious about this. I am not a puppet, okay? Let's just be clear on that. I'm not a puppet. People have been calling me a puppet uh, since I don't know when. Since I was, you know, right off the right off the rack. I'm not a puppet. I think it's pretty obvious what I, love I America. am. Let me repeat this, I love America. I love hair in the breeze, 70 degrees, palm trees and SD. I love pokies and OB. I love this freedom that I breathe. I love this life that I lead. I love thrift stores and vinyl archaeology. Digging in crates for 70s gems, the wind through my window, a pen in my afro. I love getting drenched by sound showers, the power of Jimi Hendrix ripping purple haze 75 miles per hour down this twisting highway. When the sun greets the day until it sinks into waves, I love the people all shades of skin, the true beauties within. I love this world like my kin, I'll turn enemies to friends. I love the music that breathes with its kick drum heartbeat when it speaks in the evening, weaving the fabric that holds us together through all kinds of weather. I love the scenery evolving on into the ever. Crimson canyons layered with mystery and history, the red rocks reminded me of ancient mystic entities, the clear blue waters of a mountain stream running underneath massive aged sequoia trees, the bayou-soaked humidity of the southeast, 90 degrees and sticky like molasses. I spent years on this road with rose-tinted sunglasses. Mapping the vastness which exists in my heart. I love the full moon above which illuminates the dark. I love Central Park and its rusted fall bloom, blooming flowers in June and extensive sand dunes. I love being in tune. Surrendering to the flow of surroundings, astounding, pounding visuals in the peripheral. I love the miracles which cooperate to make this exist. It's bliss when I'm kissed by these waves of sensation, inhaling this chaos to exhale liberation. I love underground hip-hop exploring equations. 
Like listening to Black Star in my burgundy car, race alone in my Mission Hills home. I love the quantum truth speakers, youth teachers, young urban preachers with abstract features like Aesop Rock, an orthodox style, reminded of miles of instrumentation, miles of Davis blowing oasis, just blowing out desolation and blowing out pavement. I love Abby Hoffman and his Woodstock nation. I love America. Elegant like Ellington abstract is Isler. It's laughing hysterically at old Richard Pryor. America is Coltrane. It is pleasure and pain. It's a high school memory of Prince Purple Rain. America is Mingus, Guthrie, Langston Hughes. America is barbecue. America is blues. America is city lights. America is monk. America is rock and roll, rhythm and funk. Saxophone solos so full of soul like Sly Stone's family with so many tones. It's Gil Scott Heron on the roof reading poems. It's knowing the side streets and the quickest route home. It's Sam Cooke with the gospel giving me chills. It's a young Aretha Franklin making time stamps. And still, it's Afrocentrism, black culture with wisdom. It's late 60s hippies, no belief in a system. It's Berkeley students and Panthers hand in hand on a mission. It's the moment when Maya told me why caged birds sings. It's the time James Addiction said all now with wings. It's Henry David Thoreau and civil disobedience. It's your grandmother's cooking with the secret ingredients. It's an Amanda Ziller action thriller. It's a silent killer with a violent filter. It's being blazed on the PCH winding road on a summer day. It's me adjusting the level and raising the treble on a murder city devil CD going 60 on a meandering road as the cold wind blows through my windows around Lake Tahoe on the way to the show arriving in the nick of time. It's a nick or a dime in Washington Square Park. It's a freestyle rhyme in a back parking lot. It's the drum circles echo just before the dark. It's the brush and the paper, the mother and father of art. It's the rhythm that's pounding within all our hearts that are steadily beating and changing like seasons, I pledge allegiance to reason and allegiance to equals, not allegiance to these demons deceiving our people. As we live through this golden age of misinformation, state-run media is on the local station, pandemic hits home, president takes a vacation to make Twitter rants about his victimization, to work on his golf swing while a nation can't breathe, to talk about ratings while a nation can't grieve, to push fake cures until a nation drinks bleach, alternative facts fill an abrasive blank speech, spin the wheel of misfortune brought to you by climate change, did you get California flames or New Orleans hurricanes and the economy is broken unless your occupation is digging graves for the greatest generation? And today we've managed to mock education as if knowledge were flaw. And I'm still in awe of a criminal giving me lectures on law and order. When chaos and disorder is all this man knows, caging children at the border is how low we will go. But that was the dawn of this social limbo. There's good folks on both sides. A young woman dies. Nazis taking joy rides and marching with fire. Rest in peace, Heather Heyer. So you don't want us to take to the streets, suggest we find ways to protest peacefully. But you didn't take kindly when we took to one knee. In fact, you took to one knee and you placed it on our necks and you held it there for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Try holding your breath, see how far you can get with freedom, the one goal at the end of all of this. See freedom and diversity make America great, not ranting and raving division and hate, not turning our streets into a police state and blaming your successor on what you created and blaming your predecessor for a disease devastating, wielding fear as a weapon to mobilize a base, fear of unknown things that they'll never face, fear of a woman's rights, fear of a race, fear of a future that changes we'll make, fear of moving forward, fear of evolution, fearful of science, fear this revolution, because revolution's coming and it will be televised. You'll have to watch it on Fox with your eyes open wide, because the future moves forward, that's the trajectory of time, and your campaign slogans about looking behind, your pandemic response was to turn a blind eye, to turn a deaf ear when they speak of the dying. It is what it is, your relief to those crying. You managed to politicize the disease as if COVID-19 cared what you believed in as we clutched to our chest saying we couldn't breathe. George Floyd, rest in peace. This is the year of short breath and my 2020 vision sees nothing ahead. America is wounded and inching towards death, but this is our land so we stand up for it. And if you think patriotism stops at waving the red, white, and blue when the red, white, and blue lights flash behind you, if you're black, then you're scared because there's a black and blue bruise on your mind from the phantom batons that they've used to beat down your soul since it set foot in new sand, from slavery shackles to the cuffs on your hand. And you vote and you hope and you plot and you plan and you work and you sweat and you live for this land and you do what it takes to make it good as you can. And you'll bend till you break for the sake of your family. And you speak out against the atrocities you see and you're willing to die in the streets for beliefs that's patriotism not waving a flag for some misguided vision 
rooted in division. America is fading past my recognition, and I love America, just not your rendition. When the emperor sits naked on his golden throne and we film a mass shooting on a cellular phone and we don't even blink because we're numb to our bones and the cyclone of news is the way the wind blows and we still don't need a weatherman to know. And we may be isolated, but we're never alone. We'll braid our voices in the streets into a beautiful poem. And I look at every face and see a rainbow of tones. I love America, won't let it sink like a stone. And you may yell at me to leave, but this is always my home. Lake Marie. We were standing. Sorry, I got you. Standing by peaceful waters. Standing by peaceful waters. talking to this girl who was standing there with her back turned to Lake Marie. The wind was blowing, especially through her hair. There was four Italian sausages cooking on the outdoor grill and they were sizzling. Many years later, we found ourselves in Canada trying to save our marriage and perhaps Catch a few fish. Whatever came first. That night she fell asleep in my arms. I'm in the tune to Blue Eluai. Oh, baby. We gotta go now. We were standing. We were standing. Standing by these waters. Well, the dogs were barking as the cars were parking. The lone sharks were sharking. The narks were narking. Practically everyone was there parking lot at the forest preserve. The cops had found two bodies, nay, naked bodies. And they were horribly disfigured by some kind of sharp object. I saw it on the news, on the six o'clock news, in black and white video. You know what blood looks like in a black and white video? Shadows, shadows. That's exactly what it looks like. And the love that me and her shared between us, man, it was slammed. Slammed up against the banks of old Lake Marie. Marie! Marie! You were standing. Standing by peaceful waters. Standing by
stand in my peaceful waters. Stand in my peaceful waters. Thank you. 
Let us return now to Nathan's Land at Hippie Fiasco Rides Again Television Headquarters. Tonight, the whole other. That's right. Here they are. Nathan Moore, Lex Park, the whole other. Big hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Cheers, buddy. Cheers. I have a poem. We don't age, we ravel. Intertwined, intricate tapestries of childhood memories. We gather moments, expressions, we learn from each other, we come back, and we go away. We are spools bursting the spindle, balloon animals with one too many twists, buns and tight knots, fingers together. We are giant quilts of tarnished pride and scar stories, word looms slowly gathered, knots in time loosely tied, gossamer and hemp strands, world of textures, in one cosmic knitting bag, afraid of the needles.
it's true I mean I've seen it on the news Every two minutes someone's stuck in jail Most of them didn't hurt Nothing but the dirt It was just because their minds set sail It was just because their minds set sail We should be moving by loving Shaking by soul Grooving not shoving Taking it slow Sharing the trouble Sharing in the pain oh, We can't just lock loneliness away No, we can't just lock loneliness away We can't just lock loneliness away We can't just lock loneliness Like a tangerine running on steam can 
controlled by remote, like trackless trains unrestrained by history's future, uncomposed as yet, by return key buttons, space bars, by spreading the availability, stretching out cultural boundaries, by finding unfound niches, like mental beaches untrodden, unworn by feet, moved only by the hot wind, my lungs blow. Only I could play a sax or a trumpet, make some use of all this hot air, make some use of all these tangents and random inserts. But as I float amongst the treetops, as I slither through the leaves, and as I waft amongst the air's redemption, I settle down in the here. I settle down in the now. I settle in to sign my signature because my compositional nature is trying to put all of this together, these alleged digressions. I can transform them into treasure. Possessions never forgotten until they're found again, far off on some mental spur, some service road running by my imaginations. Four lane freeway, four lane freeway, four lane freeway. Four lane freeway. I say to a poem by Hafez, the great Sufi master. Sometimes I say to a poem, not now, can't you see I'm bathing? But the poem usually doesn't care and quips, too bad, Hafez, no getting lazy. You promised God you would help out, and he just came up with this new tune. Sometimes I say to a poem, I don't have the strength to wring out another drop of the sun. And the poem will often respond by climbing on to a barroom table, then lifts its skirt and winks, causing the whole sky to fall.
Cause when I think I'm going nowhere I find myself at home like I never knew
between the madhouse and the zoo. I'm awake with one eye closed to the things in me I see in you. It's almost like I've died and gone there. It's always morning in New Orleans. It's always morning in New Orleans. It's always morning in New Orleans. Granddaughter, she 
find the dead in America. Like, let's say, fucking 90s somewhere. Blows her goddamn mind. And she's dating this, I don't know, maybe kind of a shitty boyfriend, but he likes the dead, but he's kind of a turd, you know. Kind of a guy, anyways. We got to read the screenplay to get the details on him, but she finds the dead, and she finds 72, and, and 72 morning dew, and it blows her fucking mind, and she comes back to Germany, and her grandfather is like, you know, he's older, he's in his ways, he's probably gardening, obviously, he's uh, enjoying some part of life that you know he, he lost during and there was always this emptiness of his brother who passed away that found morning glory but he was on a bad trip and lost it whatever and now his granddaughter comes back in his life and there's this whole like endearing fucking late like the last quarter of the movie it's him reconciling with his bad trip and she enlightens him and then he finds the soul that his brother found in the grateful dead in the latter years of his life and he becomes that free spirit that he somehow missed, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's somewhere around that. I might have to get out. My fiasco writers on this. Um, but it's a pretty...
find myself drifting in thought always about soil living breathing soil mm. I wonder what part I would play in the soil if I was in a pot of soil at my micro Bridge overpass. We made. 
blankets out of Dumbo's ears. And we scratched, you can fly into the sidewalk. And she brought me by the hand. Spun on silver tongues, we fly towards the morning sun on silver wings, stained with the rings of wines. My morning song goes la da 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 da. But she showed me her statue of liberty. On a warm and windy marching night And she convinced me Every little light Should be shining Now I will never Give up The good fight The night is spun On silver tongues the night is spun on silver tongues We fly towards the morning sun On silver wings stained with wings Of wine is my morning song It goes la da 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 than the performance. What a fun, amazing night. I've been feeling so good. Being with Lex, being with this music, and being oh, with you. Being with you. Thank you so much, everybody. The night is spun on silver tongues. We fly towards the morning sun on silver wings. Stained with rings. 
Of wine is my morning song it goes La da 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 I got something, I got something, I got something. Hold on, hold on, yeah, keep me, hold me up, Lex, hold me up. Oh, I got it, I got it. It starts litany. Litany, baby, we can't. You are the bread and the knife, the crystal goblet and the wine. You are the dew of the morning grass and the burning wheel of the sun. You are the right apron of the bank. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. It's okay. The marsh birds suddenly in flight. However, you are not the wind in the orchard that comes on the counter or the house of cards, and you are certainly not the pine scented air. There is just no way you are the pine scented air. It is possible that you are the fish under the bridge, maybe even the pigeon on the jungle's head, but you are not even. Close to being the field of of corn corn flowers at dusk, and a quick look in the mirror will show that you are neither the boots in the corner nor the boat asleep in this boathouse. It might soon to know. Speaking of the plentiful imagery of the world, that I am the sound of rain on the roof. I also happen to be the, sh the shooting star, the evening paper blowing down an alley, and the basket of just nuts, nuts on the kitchen table. I am also the moon in the trees, and the blind moments tick up. But don't worry, I am not the bread and the knife. You are still the bread and the knife. You will always be the bread and the knife. Not to mention the crystal goblet and somehow the wine. <laughs> Very good. Can they hold them? I used to be very, very uh, apocalyptic in my visions. The ones that came to me were uh, fiery and full of brimstone. And, uh, I saw this capitalist society running away and the rich were getting away with uh, locking the rest of us in invincible, invisible fences that we get electrocuted if we try to cross. And I, I, uh, I haven't parted with those visions, but I have realized that uh, that's just not the end of the story. That's, uh, that's the beginning of the story. And I am hope I'm looking at the end of the story. Gods, the breaker of bones, owns everything you see, friendless minds. And the talk of revolution just van vanished under the stones. The mystic sees trembling smiles. Liberty's children build prison on prison, try to rid us of violence with bombs. But anyone who goes, where the wild wind blows knows where we'd be without our loving moms. I know that might sound too dainty. Still, I'd repeat it for even the slightest truth can never be defeated. And it's a far cry, at least, from the daily deceit that we play. And we play like it's stuck on repeat. Peace has no leaders to play its cards. But his tomb will be empty as it flows from the bodies Again, true like the best to another device I think grace will be her own result. 
off She will dance at every chance of love Till all the world's problems are solved Because the capitalist masturbates Dreaming of Rand And the philosopher wonders what she won't be when she's dead And the artist asks God Please flow from my hand And the pacifist asks Hitler But what if I said
she was alone But only as alone as she always was As are all of us Alone With the curtains drawn
such a fun set you guys oh man like, damn i don't even know what came over us but one minute it was morning in new orleans and next it was like nighttime in fucking new orleans burning man <laughs> <laughs> new orleans <Right. laughs> that was fun thanks for going on the ride everybody Thanks for being out there. It's time for the leaving song. We probably might not say goodbye at the end. We might just disappear all of a sudden. This is the leaving song. We'll take a moment here to, to, get, to open our hearts to how much gratitude we have for all y'all out there watching and playing along and having fun and throwing these animations at us in the Gifts or Jeff's room in the Discord server. But if you're just tuning in, come on into the Discord. This is, you know, this is we're this is a this is a whole situation here. We got the Hippie Fiasco Rides Again Television channel on YouTube, on Twitch, Facebook. It's I, I do a show late night, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday usually during the week. We do a game show with my dad, oh, that's so fun. Lex, and I every Friday night, and uh, we we want you in the fold. As you can tell, it's a pretty interactive situation. I, I think I, I think I've used all the uh, hotline poems that have come in. I, I, which is a little sad because it was uh, so much fun. Tonight we've been using the new hotline here on Hippie Fiasco Rides Again Television. People have been calling in some spoken word, leaving messages of poetry. And we've just been weaving those into the show tonight. And it's been oh, so much fun. We'll definitely do it again soon. So much fun. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. Oh, well, no, <laughs> That's not not what a cool noise that was. <laughs> But much love to all of you. Couldn't do it without you, and I uh, wouldn't want to. And Lex, wow, the whole other, yeah. you know, it, it's... Yeah, man, it's just like the basement. It's just like the basement. It's a whole thing. Maybe, maybe we should uh, petition Lockin to let us just play there from here. <laughs> yeah, we could do late, late night. <laughs> late, late night. I'm thinking Modesky and Martin probably, you know. Got the late, late they're, they're gonna, covered. No, no, no. I, I, oh. I think they'll probably peter out around four. <laughs> that's my guess. I could be wrong. Hey. Well, that's that's our sweet spot. <laughs> yeah, right we'd be there. Four. We'd be right there. <laughs> Just be right there. Hey. That's our sweet spot. Jump, I'll catch. <laughs> <laughs> Trust test. Is that fan too loud? I like the, the air on me, but if it's too loud out there, let me know. Actually, I'll, I'll go. Our fans are too loud. <laughs> Come on, Lockin. Could you quiet your fans? I mean, you know, no. What else, no. You, what else you need? We got loud fans. Let's Lock box, in. man. On. Box. We'll never quiet our fans. <laughs> listen to how loud our fans are at Lockin and Red Rocks. Come on. Listen to them. All those fans, listen to that. Just listen to that. Would you listen to that? Just listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Sheer eruption. 
Actually, I sort of want to cut the fan off for my own benefit. All right, leaving song time. Oh, wait. We got to do this. What are the chances that lightning strikes twice? One in nine million, to be Google precise. But it widely depends upon isolation and height. If you hold the key, don't fly the kite. If you're out on a limb, don't pick up the phone. Don't call anyone, just run to a home. Ducking don't work. Just ask the ducks. It's often a matter of just dumb luck. But you can increase your chances, my friend. You can win if you don't pretend that you ain't afraid of tumultuous juice. Head for the shelter and cut yourself loose. Cause winning is losing when it comes to a strike. One and you're out, tagged by the light. Unless you are Sullivan who took seven to the head and none of them killed him, but he did instead. If the songbook ain't for you, then maybe for me, cause I already got one, but it's catch and release. Someone so bright It's not dark at night I sat in the seven hills For seven days Just wanting to see If it was true what they say Yup, we always Underestimate If you're torn Between sit and wait For long met your fate Life is short but for to find your grace You were born for heaven's sake
hopping, lean into the turn Slow down for the twist when you crash and burn Yeah, when you crash and burn You better learn Good things come to the ones who go get them Good out in the wind and start gaining momentum Get ready to jump There's a doozy coming up And if you talk between sit and wait For long you've not yet met your fate Life is short before to find your grace You were born for heaven's sake Hey Ryan!
Lex and I are we're just not proportioned. We're, we're not proportional here. We're not. Where's the shot? Where's the shot? Now make me bigger. I hate to do it almost, but.
Responsibility, except to jack off in bed alone and and type a good page. So really, why I continued writing, even though it came back and I got drunk for ten years, I felt there was nothing out there. So I had to continue because they were so bad, not because I was so good. And I'm still not so good, but they're still very bad. So there's still room for somebody to step in here, you see. Then I hope he arrives, or she. That should be enough right there for that bottle of 55 poets. That should cure them with their melody, but it won't. Good night, goodbye, and happy reading. And now, good night. The end of a perfect evening. You are the best but of the night. How do you say good night? The goblet and the wine. You are the juice of the morning grass. Don't and the burning wheel of the sun. 
You are the right. It's kind of the right. Oh, good. Uh-oh. It's okay. The marsh birds suddenly in sight. However, you're not the wind in the orchard that comes on the counter with the house of cards. Or it could go this way. You are certainly not the pine scent of air. There is just no way you are the pine well, scent of the air. It is possible that you are the fish Just like the that. Maybe even After all, a girl likes to know you've had a good time. You're not even close to being the field of... So let's try saying goodnight again. One more way. Well, it's getting late. Yeah, you need to get the boots. I'd ask him for a bike to make it work for me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.